Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Pro dab of the day. Today is Sunday. Hello, everybody. Well, as you probably know, I can't change the course of a mighty river. I can't bend steel with my bare hands, and I can't jump to the top of a tall building. I'm human. So are all of you. So, health issues that come up, issues out of our control, there's very little you can do other than ride it out and really do the best you can. But, but, there are some things that we can take control of. One of those things is your awareness. That's right, our awareness of things. We need to expand our awareness Awareness is the ability to pay close attention to the whole and part of the situation simultaneously. It's a lot more complicated than just seeing or hearing something. But because we have this, our brain, we can do it. We want to be able to take it all in while also maintaining attention to detail. Think about it. Intuition, development, which people have to have, requires us to expand our range of awareness and tap into our subconscious mind at will. I will call it spontaneously. So the art of using your intuition is to learn by absorbing more information and then accessing it in a sensible form. What it means is you're going to take in all this stuff, but you've got to be able to use it. You've got to be able to find it in the, in the great mental filing cabinet up here. You've got to be able to find it and use it. So the skill can help us become better decision makers and avoid decision that cause danger or problems, especially on the fly. Think about me, the whirling dervish of pain with different things. I'm in a chaotic situation, multiple health issues. Well, you know what? The skill of expanding my awareness can help me. But let's get in a little bit more detail on what expanding your awareness really means. There are two types of awareness. One is your focused awareness, where you kind of use your eyes as laser beams, looking through whatever you're looking at to what you really want to see. It's like stalking a deer. You're following everything. But there's a whole other thing that happens when you drift out of focus, when you got those laser beams. The other type of awareness is relaxed awareness, where you focus your eyes allowing information to flow through the eyes, think of it, into the mirrors of the brain, like a window. So your eyes are wide, but you're not looking at anything in particular. Kind of like wide-angle vision for photography. You're getting a lot more in the picture, but you're not necessarily picking anything out. So the key with all this is what's called the peak state. Entering the peak state, because that taps into your ability to shift, think about it, between a focused situation and a relaxed awareness of the situation. And what you do is you have to use very, very powerful innate skills. It's not something you do when you think about. It's something that spontaneously happens, like putting one foot in front of the other foot. And here's the analogy I'm going to use. It's one of my favorites. I, I talk about them all the time. If you were a Navy SEAL on patrol, you'd be using your relaxed awareness as you walk through the jungle. And when something happens, suddenly, they need to use their focused awareness. So we have to be just like that. Think about it. To be the best that you can expanding your awareness, strengthening your sensory perceptions, and maximizing your capabilities, you've got to be able to look at the wide angle 
And then you've got to be able to look right in at what you're looking at. You've got to be able to see the field. And then wait, there's the deer. You've got to be able to see where you're walking and go, there's sugar. Whatever you're looking at, you've got to be able to see macro and micro. And what that will do is that will give you the ability to have both types of awareness. And I think it's critical. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Send me your comments. I love to hear them all. Let's take a diamond dab this morning of sativa to spark up our day. I might be taking some dabs with the stillet going forward. The good fairy dropped some really good distillate off and I want to be able to share it with you. But for today, we're using our Sativa Diamonds. Hope you enjoyed the video. Here we go. And you have to remember, many of us are pulled in all kinds of different directions. Many of us don't know when to end this up. Many of us are the whirling dervish of pain. Guess what? That's because we go like this and we see everything. We see it. We're focused on it. Now it's time to broaden your focus and relax a little bit. When the heat of the battle comes, you bring it together. But there's time in your life for you to lay back and go, ah, a little bit. Cheers, everybody. As my grandfather used to say, he said, Senior Stoner, do the best that you can. Cheers, everybody.